little cutie. Her name is Queenie. She's 10 years old. Well, 10 years young, I should say. And this is just, uh, I just wanted to uh, tell a little testimony because she got sick and it was very severe because um, she was bleeding, uh, she was in pain. And I came home that day, I had, um, I had a speaking engagement. And when I came home, I was tired. So yeah, I just was tired. I was uh, sitting on the couch. She was laying on a pillow on the couch. And I just noticed something was different. Something was up. And then she, um, she started like making sounds that she was like, she was in pain. And, uh, I just did what I always do. I started praying for her laying my hands on her, speaking to the whatever the problem was. I'm sorry, guys, my hand. Whatever the problem was, but I did not see a change. Um, and because I, I knew that I was tired, I asked my daughter to come because she was staying at a friend's house. And I also asked the friend to come and to pray with me. Well, while they were coming, they both had the same uh, thing. They were speaking out. They both said not knowing it from one another. I also did not know it. So they both said, um, no, she will not die. She will live and declare the works of the Lord. Remember Psalms 118, 17. And I was here and I saw her and she looked at me like she was saying goodbye. I thought, uh, no way. <laughs> I just love her so much. So I, I said to her, I said, no, because her eyes were like closing. She was closing her eyes, like saying goodbye. This is it. I said, no, you, sh you will not die. You will live. I command you live and declare the works of the Lord. Well, she opened up her eyes like, as she woke up. And you, know, you see her lying like that. <laughs> well, she opened up her eyes and yes, you can pray for your pets. You can pray for your dog. In fact, I pray with a woman uh, outside who had a turtle and a snake. So I paid for a turtle and a snake and they got healed. So yes, you can do that. I did that. Well, I always do that. Uh, just lay hands on your pet and just pray for them. Well, the story goes as following because... She, after that, after I prayed for her, I didn't have the money to go to the vet. So I was, I was embarrassed um, that I didn't have the money to do that. And I said, Lord, I don't know what to do. I, I've prayed. I've spoken to the, to the mountain. Why don't I see any change? But well, what did change was that she wasn't. Uh, crying anymore. She wasn't making the sounds that she was in pain. She was still bleeding. So the next day I just made a choice. I said, I'm going to the vet without money. Well, I went, my friend went with me because I was holding her. And uh, so me and my friend, we went to the vet and the vet, uh, she examined her and she said, well, she needs an operation because there's something wrong with her uh, uterus, her womb. It is so much larger than the size of her of a normal uterus uh from a dog this size and so i said to her she told me so many things but i told her i said but i don't have the money to pay right now she said well the costs are 500 euro yes you heard it 500 euro i didn't even have the money for the visit well i was like for dogs, it's wow, what amount. And I had to pay it then. I said to her, but I don't have the money. Uh, I have to come back then tomorrow. And she said, well, then tomorrow she might not be here because she will bleed to death. I didn't want that. I said, no, she will not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Yes, Bible verses also work for your pets. <laughs> well, what happened was... Um, I, I left her there. I said, Oh, okay. Proceed with, uh, with the operation. And, um, immediately she had the operation. I went home. When I came home, I was sitting on the couch looking outside and I said, Papa, I need your wisdom, understanding and knowledge in this case. 
because where is the 500 euro? When my f uh, another friend called and she asked me, said, Cindy, how are you going to pay for the operation? Because she heard about what happened. So I told her, I said, well, I don't have it in my pocket, but I believe I will have it. And she said, well, I feel in my heart to, um, um, how do you say that? To, uh, to form an app group with all your friends and to ask them to donate for the dog. And I still felt embarrassed. So there was something with me. I felt embarrassed. And oh, I didn't tell you this part. I cried. I cried when I prayed for her. So I was, I was not totally in authority. And um, uh, what happened was I said to my friend, I said, okay, um, do it. I thought, Cindy, stop being embarrassed. It's, stop being silly. So uh, the whole 500 was raised, was donated. So when I came back, I could I could pay for everything. And I was so, so, so happy. I still think, thank you so much, guys. And, um, well, she got, uh, she got healed. She had no pain. Everything the vet said that would happen did not because I prayed against it and um, look at her she's healed so in the light of healing you can pray for your pet dogs you can pray for every and anything um, do it I want to agree with you too so right now whenever you got your pet lay your hands on the pet if it's possible if it's a snake I wouldn't touch it, but that's me. <laughs> when you got your snake pen and you know how to handle it, you do place your hand on the glass. If it's a rabbit, whatever your pet is, place your hand. Even people in uh, the zoo, let's stand in agreement. When, their animals, when your animal is sick, in the name of Jesus, I bind this sickness and this season. Every pain, I command you stop in Jesus' name. And I command health and healing to flow in their bodies, flow in the dogs, in the cats, in the in the, the turtles, and, and whatever kind of animals right now. I am agreeing with the pet owner that the life, the supernatural healing uh, power of Papa is going through in their bodies and healing their bodies. I command that they can stand up again, eat again, drink again, do uh, whatever they want to do, run again in the name of Jesus and be totally and completely healed in Jesus name. And wherever there's finances needed, because uh, whatever uh, happens that uh, your pet doesn't get an instant healing, I pray that the finances uh, uh, come into physical manifestation into your possessions in Jesus' name so you can bring your pet to the vet just like I did. <laughs> but it was only, amen, but it was only because I started doubting. I cried because I was being in my soulish realm. I thought it was so uh, terrible for her and she cannot speak and because I don't cry when I pray for people so why would I so I think that is why she still needed the the operation if I was in faith totally in faith I think she would not have be in need of an operation well fast forward because the story is not ended fast forward to um a few uh, months ago um someone came here and she threw her phone but it landed on her eye so her eye something happened to her eye and then her eye began to become watery and and things came out of her eye like pus and it it smelled funny it looked funny and i prayed for it i, I placed my hand on the eye and i said in the name of jesus i command this eye to be healed i command whatever the root causes whatever the source i command it and uh, die out wither away I, I commend you completely healed. Well, weeks went by. She wasn't healed. Again, I went to the vet. She looked into the eyes. She said, yes, something uh, happened to the eyes. And she gave me like, um, uh, like a medicine to rub into her eyes. Nothing healed. Nothing helped. And then uh, one day, uh, Papa said to me, he said, Cindy, you're not single-minded. 
you are looking every time, looking, looking, and uh, 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 looking to see if it's healed. I said, yes, because I we're speaking to it, and I want to see the manifestation. I just want a physical manifestation. And then he said to me, become single-minded again. So I started to become single-minded again. I spoke the word, and I never looked at the eye again. I just didn't look at the eye again. And here. Are you looking, baby? Are you looking, so? <laughs> well, you cannot see it. But her eyes completely and totally healed. You can see nothing as if nothing happened. So that's just a testimony of how my pet dog got healed. And it's all in the line of healing. It's not a teaching. But you see, I, st I still and my daughter and my friend, we use the word of God. So take that word Mar and base it on Mark 11, 22 and 23 that we have, uh, uh, that I've taught upon. Use it in every area of life. Use it. Keep on using it in the name of Jesus. Well, stay tuned to my videos and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs> it's about the dog. What about you, Cindy? Say bye-bye. Oh, don't look like that. You want to sleep. Say bye-bye to everyone.